a pocket size Morse code trainer for only $60. Is it worth the money? Find out today on KF5 IRE Ham Radio. So I recently decided that one of my goals for the year 2024 is to learn to send and receive Morse code. And a few weeks ago, I actually came across this pocket size Morse code tutor by a company called Pudakeeg on Amazon for around $60. So seeing other Morse code trainers on the mark for upwards of $100 plus, dollars, I knew as soon as I saw this Morse code trainer that I had to pick it up and I had to try it. So is it worth the money? First, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. So this is what the Pudikig CW trainer looks like up close. The case is actually made up of a couple of pieces of colored plastic. I purchased mine in green, and as of the filming of this video, they have options in both red and blue listed on the Amazon product page. So it's small enough where it fits in the palm of your hand, and just for an accurate size comparison, it's about the size of my Texas State Parks Pass or any other credit card. So overall, it's a pretty simple design. On the front, you have five buttons. The power button, the navigation buttons, which are the menu button, the previous button, the next button, and the enter button and you have the white backlit LCD screen and a forward firing speaker on the left side you have the volume wheel and a headphone jack and on the right side you have the keyer input and the 5 volt DC USB-C charging port I did open mine up out of curiosity and took a look inside as you can see in the photo it's a pretty simple design overall you have the main component board both the headphone jack and the keyer jack the speaker the volume wheel, a few wires, and a 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery. Taking a look at the menus and the different modes, there are five different learning modes on this Morse code trainer. The first mode, free input, is the mode where you can freely key your CW key and it'll decode your input and you can hear the tone as you key characters. Then the character that you inputted displays on the screen. And you can do this using either the enter button or you can do this using a external keyer. The second mode, CW Practice, is the mode where the trainer will tell you which character you need to key, and you will key the character and it will tell you if you got the answer correct or not. If you get it correct, you'll hear one beep. And if you get it wrong, you'll hear three beeps. And it will show you the correct set of dits and daws on the screen. It will also tell you the number of characters that you got correct and missed overall during your study session. The third mode, Listen Test, is the listen-only mode where you can toggle through a list of different character sets, such as letters, numbers, punctuation, characters, letter and number combinations, all characters, and basically you watch each character appear on the screen and listen to the characters as they are played back in Morse code. The fourth mode, QCW View, is another listen only mode where you can scroll through a list of Q codes and ham radio abbreviations as the characters are highlighted and the character is played back in Morse code. The fifth mode, the code view, is also another listen only mode where you can select each letter or symbol and see the dits and daws visually and hear the character played back in Morse code. In the settings menu, you have the options to turn the voice mode on and off, which is actually just the menu beeps, change the tone, which ranges from 300 hertz to 1525 hertz, change the input words per minute speed, change the test mode, playback, words per minute speed, choose what type of keyer you are using, choose your language, and change your contrast and backlight settings. Next, we have the device info menu, which just displays the device information. And finally, we have the About menu, which just displays the About information. So overall, the build quality of this Pudikig Morse code trainer is actually pretty good. I'd certainly be very careful not to drop it because it doesn't feel very rugged, but at the same time, it also doesn't feel like it just is going to fall apart either. So I really do like that it has multiple modes built into it. It has multiple different modes to help you learn to send and receive Morse code. And with its super compact size, you can easily pack this thing away in a backpack, a suitcase, whatever, and take this thing along with you on the go. But keep in mind, you will still need to bring a keyer along with you if you don't just want to use the inner key to input your Morse code. And the battery life actually seems pretty decent as well. I have studied multiple hours on end with this thing without ever having to plug it in 
or without draining the battery completely. So just a couple of cons I thought I would mention as well. I do wish that there was an option to be able to listen to randomly generated call signs played back in Morse code, and also the option to have custom character sets read back to your Morse code as well. I really do feel like this Morse code trainer is lacking in those two areas. And overall, the menu system is pretty much okay. Um, it's not the best out there, but it would certainly be nice to see it a little bit more updated and a little bit more organized and just to kind of see the menu options a little bit more well explained. And I really also do wish that it was a little bit more rugged, especially if I'm kind of taking this thing with me on the go pretty frequently. I'm just kind of worried that it might get beat up easy or broken. And I think it also is worth noting this power button is kind of a little bit sensitive. You can see here, I don't even click it and it just kind of goes off. I just kind of tap it and it goes off, but it's supposed to work to power it off. You can hear the click. So that's how you know that it actually turns off is it's a hard, firm click. But again, you can just kind of barely put a little bit of pressure on it and it shuts off. So I've inadvertently accidentally turned it off a few times and that's just something that I noticed. Uh, I kind of hope that they fix that maybe in a future model. And one last thing, the input decoder can sometimes be a little bit finicky and inaccurate, or at least when I'm using a straight key. This also could just be because I'm still new to Morse code and I'm still learning how to properly key the characters. But I've also had a few times where I was almost positive that I keyed it correctly and the Morse code still decoded it inaccurately. So also just keep in mind that sometimes it does actually take more than one time keying it correctly to get the pocket tutor to register it correctly. And more specifically, it happens a little bit more often when I'm doing dits. Um, sometimes it'll add extra dits or it'll miss dits, but most of the time it's actually pretty accurate with the dots. It's possible that something like a paddle keyer might actually work a little bit better with this pocket tutor, but unfortunately I don't have one to try it for myself. You can also use the inner key as well to input Morse code. Also, it does get a little bit more accurate the closer you are to the words per minute speed that you set up in the menu settings. So just to wrap things up, for the price, I'm actually surprised at the number of features that come packed into this thing. Just all the different modes that are on this thing to learn to send and receive Morse code, that's just super awesome to have multiple modes to learn. And again, the build quality could be better, but keep in mind, this is a product that was manufactured in China. But again, it's not horrible. And yes, the decoder is a little bit accurate, but also that was kind of expected as well. And in talking to other hams that are more knowledgeable than me, I've been told actually by several of them that most Morse code decoders are not 100% accurate, especially when Morse code is being keyed by a human. So all of these things taken into account is this $60 Amazon pocket-sized Morse code tutor worth the money. I think so. I think it actually really is worth the money, especially if you're somebody like me and you're just getting started in Morse code, or if you're somebody maybe that's still on the fence about do you want to actually try to learn Morse code or not, or if you're just looking for something cheap to help pass the time. Now I'll make sure to drop the link to this pocket-sized Morse code trainer down in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And if you have not already, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Those two things just help this video reach more people and help this channel continue to grow. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, 73.